My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how do you do? James, rainy, allergic weekend in the Northeast, so I'm doing well <laughs> off of that. How are you doing, Pop? Chewing on ice? Uh, great, great. I had a great four days with uh, my son where I was home, ever, uh, worked from home. A lot of we, pics and vids of BJ. A lot of playing time, a lot of playing time with baby James. But other than that, not great. I have to wear these glasses still. I have a rash all over my body. I had to get skin taken out, the two sets of stitches on my body. That stinks. It's gross. Put the rash up there. It's pretty foul looking. A rash. Yeah. Yeah, a rash. Could be anyone. Let's kick it to the sports. James, you know I view the game a little differently. And what's really important is what's happening off the field while we're on the field when it's off the field. And the Dodgers, they have four guys on paternity leave and one Cub. And you're saying, okay, why is that? Okay. He was a Dodger, Cody Bellinger. I think there was a sex party that leads back to last All-Star break. Oh my goodness. How many are on the paternity leave now? Five. Caleb Ferguson might be joining them in May, so just a little late to the party. But it all dates back to the All-Star weekend from last year, which I like. In L.A. In L.A., the arrangements are probably strict when you're a baseball player. All of a sudden, you, you hit that ovulation time at a different time of day because... You're free. Everyone's pregnant. Good job by the Dodgers. This is use pretty cool, man. Week, all, use the all-star break week well. This happens all the time in LA. I've been telling people. You have. You say that Hollywood's one big orgy. Jim, this almost a breakdown comes from our world. And man, it's... <laughs> devastating yes jake it is and i want to watch it with you the opening game for hook line sinkers forgotten rotten hook lines one out away from winning it and do they strike trev out no he foul tipped it and it hit the bottom the leg not the zone if it hit the zone he'd be out next up Ball in play, Kenobia. Oh, no. Oh, look at that dejected oh. face. Just sad. Would have ended the game if he fields it clean, and he does not field it clean. Do you think so it's even sadder that he does get his hand on it at the end? And then Rort comes up with two outs, and he's in auto take mode. And this is the real breakdown amongst the devastating breakdown. You've never seen someone in auto take mode in this. <laughs> It doesn't turn his head at all. One, I think, grazes his Elvis hair. That one, yeah, I, I that think. That one catches some hair. And it should be a reminder, Elvis hair is not a joke. Uh, Dan Rourke watched the Elvis movie a bunch of times, and then he modeled his hair and got a fake tan after. Unbelievable. I remember you and I in the bleachers cracking up at this. And so he walks, so now Trev, the big bad man. Uh, great line from Moylan in the booth here. First time we've seen a little bit of separation. Yeah. It's more of a get the fuck away from me than a let's get together. And Trev, the whole game, you, the players are mic'd up. He's like, don't let me hit again. Don't let me hit again. He's so I mid. found it. I found he it. He should have lost the game. He did lose the game. He should have lost the <laughs> he game. Did Kenobio lose the game. blew it. First pitch from Drew. Trev was 0 for 5 up until that point. Devastating turn of events. Game 2 of Blitzball Battle 3 on the JM Warehouse Games channel. And uh, yeah, it's a breakdown of sorts. Feel for Drew Davis. Great job by Dan Rourke. That was almost a breakdown of this is my bird dog tumbler, and those are Jake's bird dog shorts. Yeah, okay? hand got caught under the table. Ooh. You okay. And speaking of birds, Jake, let's go back to the more sports. James, this Belgian town of De Pan, three, two, one, eight and, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Yeah, it's a great name for a Belgian town. They hosted the third annual European Seagull Screeching Competition. Around 50 athletes took place, which is wrong because they're not athletes. <laughs> And Yarmo, the 21-year-old architect, he won. I think it's going to be tough to repeat. Competition's going to get more crowded. I like that Yarmo's going by one name. Also, if your name's Yarmo, no one gives a shit Well, about... that could be first, that could be last, no, no that could be knows. a nickname. It's Yarmo. Yarmo. It's Cher. Three, two, one, ten. ten. Yeah, it's Yar the perfect Yarmo. Name. Jim, tell them why there's this picture of you as an adult baby on here. Uh, a fifth grader applied to be principal of Chief Joseph Elementary, and there's a whole story about it, and there's a bunch of bullshit and a bunch of cool stuff. I don't care. I was principal for a day when I was in kindergarten because they had this giant stand full of Tootsie Roll Pops, and there was colors on the bottom of the Tootsie Roll Pop, and whoever got the blue one got to be principal for a day. Uh, so I did this. So I'm better than this girl. She was in fifth grade. I was in kindergarten. So eat shit, little girl. Uh, the better not sports story is that we are going back to Dildo, Newfoundland, where there's a phallic iceberg. I think we're getting pranked. 
Now, I don't know how carving icebergs goes, but if I told you a guy in Dildo, Newfoundland, took a speedboat out to an iceberg, carved it like a dildo, and then went back the next day and discovered it, would you be shocked? No, but I, I do think this is one of those... Uh, there's a phrase for it. You probably have it. Like, you know, when I first want to get a golden doodle, you start seeing more golden doodles. When I first, I, I got a car. Yeah, I think it's called frequency bias. Yeah. That, or it's actually called the Bader meinhof phenomenon. That's like the... If you live in Dildo, New Zealand... Everything looks phallic. But this is really phallic. The guy who discovered it... It's Ken, a pretty phallic iceberg. Ken Pretty? Three, two, one, ten. I don't know. Ken. Kenneth Pretty? Ken Pretty? Mr. Pretty That works awesome. if you're pretty or ugly. Mr. Pretty's very fun. I hope he's a school teacher. Because if you're Ken Pretty and you're ugly, I think you're just like, Ken Pretty, that's just the name. Oh, and you like lean in. Like wow. you're, you're golden Change your name right way. now to Jake Pretty. I think people would think I'm trying too hard. He saw the iceberg and then he flew his drone over it to get a closer look. And he was nice. like, whoa, this looks like a dick, right? You guys are with me? Please tell me this looks like a wing. And then he went on to say it's unreal how much it looked like part of the male anatomy. Which part, Ken? Employee of the week. It's, it's the, the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. It's a sad, sad, sad. sad I'm not day. singing the song. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jerry Springer passed away. And watching Baggage was a popular show here at John Boy Media. And he was a funny guy. Staple. Staple. Icon. And he passed away. Hall of Fame. Someone uh, paid him on Cameo to send us a message. So we have that. RIP. But Employee of the Week. Well deserved. Lifetime achievement, basically. First time. Lifetime. Thanks for watching. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Bird Dogs. Bird Dogs are incredibly comfortable and I look good in them. They actually are incredibly comfortable and I do enjoy the way I look. And look at Jake's Tookus. He looks great, ready to run around on the beach and... Man, people are going to want to take them off of them. They fit nice. They're stretchy. They feel good. So click the link in the description to go to birddogs.com. And when you enter promo code DUMB, they'll throw in a free Yeti-style tumbler with every order. Wow. Thanks, Bird Dogs. Hey, Jimmy and Jay, Jerry Springer here. Your buddy Tony tells me that uh, you are great fans of the show Baggage that you guys were childhood friends and you are working hard to build your career as baseball YouTube commentators. So uh, I can imagine how exciting it is for you. I hope it all works out. And my other wish for you is, may you never be on my show. So, uh, cause that's not a good thing. So take care of yourself and each other.